Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome back to another episode of Fool's Town here in City Skylines. Guys, last episode we fully expanded that small little peninsula with some infrastructure for our city. We got all the base heavy traffic zones added in. We're adding in some trams and some monorails to cut through. And we're pretty much now ready to set up everything and get everything zoned and everybody moved into that small little place. Now, as you guys on some ideas or suggestions on how dense should I make this peninsula, and uh, a couple of you guys gave me some really, really good ideas. I was kind of off the idea of making, um, let's kind of take a look at it right now, making this all high density. But a few of you guys said, why don't you make it high density, zone it, but ban skyscrapers. And that will kind of give us the effect of um, the office areas down here where they're high density buildings but they're banned skyscrapers so it, it kind of fits in with its whole area but it's still high density stuff. Now I thought that was a really really cool idea that we're going to have to try and add in and get all done. So we got a lot of road building and connecting we got to do right now but we'll focus on the inner of the kind of outer loop to begin with and then we'll eventually expand out. So before we go any further then, I think the first thing we should actually do is paint the district. So paint the district so we can already pre-apply uh, the banning high rises and we'll kind of do it, um, we'll bring it out to about here. There we go and that can be this area. It's called Walnut Heights, <laughs> which is, it's quite cool but we'll kind of see that the name changes eventually over time. Uh, where this area will stop, I don't know. We'll kind of see what happens. But for now, it's going to be applied just in here. So let's um, apply the high-rise band to it as well. So city planning. You want that high-rise band. There we go. So the buildings won't go too crazy. Okay, then. So let's get the road network all set up then. So I want to create gridded effects. I want to maximize the grid effects that we can. And then slowly then wind it off in the individual areas. So I think I think I'll pick a central point just here, and that is pretty straight. And then we'll take away from the middle, and then pull that in. There we go. So this can create our nice little grid now. Cut straight down. As simple as that, to be honest. That's literally how simple the grids are going to be. So if I just pick another central point there and then cut through. I'm going to have to delete some of these roads as well, so don't worry. There we go. It's slightly off-center, but it's, it is what it is. So let's kind of get rid of these for now. We'll kind of get rid of all the central pieces. And then we'll, we'll, we'll pick it like a like a better method, which I think the better method will be to cut through like that. I don't want to create too many cutting routes off the roads like if I connected that straight down and so on and so on because that will obviously cause us some future traffic if, um, issues so every second one will create a cut in and that creates a nice little lip there which is going to look really really cool as well so if I bring this to here because that's going to cause issues now trying to connect that over if we go straight down so this is really going to be like a downtown area it's going to be really cool so this is a little bit awkward. There we go. We can get in. No issues when it comes down to the snap in there. Um, oh, we've had to move the tram spot now, haven't we? From what I can see. So tram. Let's push it down by one. So I knew this would happen when we come to zone the roads. The tram. We're going to have issues with the tram and stuff like that. I'll actually not connect it so close to that road. And this is where now it starts to take over in its own areas so we'll leave that like that because we can create like a nice park or something coming off it bring that straight down now I could create a connection there as well but I don't want to rely on too much of anything up here I could create paths so from the monorail station that go through did it kind of get rid or have some issues over here yeah, move it up. No, actually, it's fine just there, to be honest. So that would kind of be like the basic grid pattern for this area. I'll add in some of the, the, you know, the finer touches to finish off the roads eventually. 
Bring that straight down as well. And it's going to be really, really cool. So trying to perfect that grid pattern that we have, I can actually bring this all the way straight over, which is quite cool as well. Okay. Almost not... Oh, actually, I can do the same for that one. Oh, sweet. I wasn't expecting it to be so easy. Right, bring it over by one. There we go. And then we can create... That's that's completely thrown us off there. We can create our gridded pattern right now. So do we go for a different layer, a different style to the opposite side? Or should I keep the same majestic pattern going? Right, this would ultimately go all the way down to the end, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. So this keeps it in uniform and that will go straight across I like that we can use the fine road anarchy and then just like cut through where we want it to make sure it's connected so it's kind of like New York in a sense where it has all these grids and then it comes to the end of the bendy roads that follows the the curvature of the land of the little highway that goes going around it like you know and <laughs> it just kind of all merges in it is pretty cool Right, okay, so with that said and done, right, we're going to create, I don't know whether that's too close to that, I feel like it could be, I feel like it could be, but, create our roads, so if so, I can actually just cancel that one there and create the cutting just there. Just to free that area up slightly a little bit. Because I don't want to add too much traffic. Or too many issues. So this is where then we have to like then fine tune each of the areas. And doing stuff like that we can create paths that walk across. Or which are you know filling all the little gaps. But that's the kind of pattern we've got going across then. So if you think about it. No matter where you want to go. Or enter in the centre. You can come down the four lane road or the big six lane road and cut in very easy <coughs> failing that you can just walk to your nearest monorail or <coughs> tram station hop on and skedaddle and get out of here so it is it is pretty much in uniform and i want to try and keep them separated so to speak uh, the areas so we can handle the traffic a lot easier oh i messed that up there didn't i <laughs> completely messed that up there for a second. So bring it out by two. And then we'll go. Okay, that's up by two again, but we'll bring it straight up. Right, and what's considered two down there to cut in. There we go. So I'm liking the fact that we're keeping this free because it is also, if you think about it, if you want to get from over here to over here or vice versa, it's a big cut through road. So you want to try and keep as much off that as possible. So up by two again. So this is the only grids that we're going to have in around this area. The rest of it is going to be, you know, more natural. It's more for that downtown vibe. So this is where we then create little roads that cut out. I can't wait to get all the little paths in. It's going to be really nice. There we go. It's updated some of the tram lines there. So now with that done, I can cut through. some of the oh, there we go roads then yeah I feel like that was a bit too much I mean I could do it like that just take the edge off the edge the area slightly so this is a pretty cool area let's get the uh, the paths in now then to connect all the tram lines and routes up but we'll first actually our first start with the edges 
of some of the roads. Like, it's easy, connect and walk over. So if we can make it as walkable as possible, then that really benefits us with the tram lines. So stuff like this, just cut it straight through. This makes it so walkable. So much easier to get to where you want to get to. And then do the same on this side. I'm trying to minimize how many blocks I destroy as possible. So the less blocks I, I do actually destroy, the more zoning we can naturally get in. So doing like this here, we can still get like a building, on the, like a square on the corner, which would be beautiful. Okay then, so yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good at this point. I'm impressed with it. It's also got a little crossroads further up because of the monorail stations, which I really like. And that's pretty much as far as you want to want to take it for the, the downtown -y area. And that's where the high density is going to be, but with banned skyscrapers. Now, do we have water over here? We don't. All right, this is going to be fun to get it in, isn't it? Because it's quite a large area. Right. Okay. So we now got to squeeze a lot of this now in. Lucky for us, a lot of the water pipes reach over. Let me do this side then. So one thing I hate doing is the pipe work. Is there a mod that auto places pipes? <laughs> Could you imagine that? How glorious would that be? Right, as weird and as ugly as that is, it's in. It's in. We ain't got to touch it no more. So let's figure out how we want to do this then. So I feel like we should have uh, some high density commercial down the center points. Right there, leading up to the coastline. Have I zoned all that? Yeah. So my density commercial just there. Uh, leading up. And I think that's all the commercial that we should really have. We'll throw in some offices as well to make this also a very workable area. So we've got some offices just around here. Just so there's a few extra jobs and whatnot. But that's where all that zoning ends. And then the rest of the zoning is going to be completely residential. So to give us the population boost, to give it this area some life, we're going to see dramatically a lot of traffic as we try and get everybody moved in to this space. So I'm just going to go for all the big areas that I can zone straight away. And then we'll have to paint br brush the rest. Um, right, so let's paint brush them. Let's do each individual area. So this area is going to really come to life. In terms of the outskirts right now, I probably will zone um, some buildings on it just to kind of filter it and add it all in. But I'm not 100% still yet on what we're going to do with that area. I feel like it should... I feel like I need to do something like this. Right, I'll de-zone or get... Do you know what? Then again, I feel like I'm going to have the residential around the edges of it. So that also makes sense. Just take it off where I don't want it then at this point. Like entering into there. So the entry points just pretty much take them off. Like that. And do you know what? That is pretty much how I would, would want it. It looks a bit, you know, over the top and a bit excessive. But there we go. Um, I want to get in some parks then, so let's kind of squeeze in a couple of these. So we've got some of these big boys just here, which we'll squeeze one in the corner just there. Where else do I have a room for one of these? Do I have room for, yeah, I have a room for over here. There we go. And then we'll get some smaller, which is this the one? 
that's the one with the dirt paths, isn't it? Okay, we'll get one of these in. So it fits in perfect there. So just trying to really make this a nice area. There we go. Uh, I want to get in some of the stuff like uh, the tennis courts or the tennis clubs and whatnot. Because that would be pretty cool to squeeze in. If I can find a big enough or wide enough space. That would go in perfectly there, but that's where some of the commercial is. And I don't want to lose that area. So even this is quite like, you know, a dense area. We'll squeeze in this cool little stuff. So that's the, the tennis club. And then we've got like little basketball courts. So it's like inner city park areas, isn't it? So where could I benefit using this? Somewhere like that? Yeah. We have little plazas too, which we could use for some of the, the dense areas. Placing two plazas just there. And we need some services in this area too. So policing, because it's gonna, it can be you know semi-large as well. We'll go for like the big boy tower. Just there. Um, we'll go now for the big boy fire station just there. Hospitals. Now, do I go for the big metropolitan hospital? That could be pretty cool to squeeze in. And I like how you do squeeze it in too because... The Metropolitan one, it kind of goes over the road, which looks really sweet. And that fits in there so perfect. Yes, boys. Yes. Uh, we get a couple of better crematoriums down right now. So I'll squeeze in one next door to our hospital. We'll squeeze one next to the park here, so there's always death <laughs> surrounding the park areas. And one just there too. Okay, so they're going to be screaming for power straight away. They're going to be screaming for power. We will get it connected. Don't you worry. We'll get it connected. But it's quite a dense area. There's a lot being thrown into it right now. So for these edges, I'm thinking about doing some key walls. Or doing like a walkable park area around the edge. Maybe actually not get rid of the key walls. Do like a staggered park path. Which would be pretty nice. But we do need to get the power connected, don't we? We really do. They're going to pretty much die out in this area. Um, so why don't we take a look at these roads as well. So if I was to bring these down. To there. Well, these sprout in different areas, don't they? So if I brought that out by 30, like that, to create that connection, that kind of then symbolizes the straightness of this area. There we go. And then I feel like I would want to do something more windy in these little gaps. So if I treat this as the main kind of focal point. And then we, we take away from the windiness. So if I brought that out to there. Brought this up to here. This is where the windiness is coming in. To play right now. So vehicles are already on the move. It's all the uh, service vehicles. Do you know what? I'm going to go with that because that looks pretty cool. I'm keeping it off this as well because obviously it's straight fresh off the highway situation. Um, but we'll kind of create more bendy roads. I like it. More bend in the roads, please. Right, let's bring this out there bring this up I'm creating so many bends right now it's unreal but this is this I'm liking this and straight down oh yeah I've created loops within loops within loops, <laughs> which is weird. It is weird. 
But let's connect these up now. To the edges. Oh, that was that was a terrible connection. Come on. So I need to make it very, very accessible for this route here, because this is where the monorails are on. There we go, and then we need to do somewhat of a grid fashion to maximize the space we get to work with. That is the through road there, so I need to try and keep them off that as much as possible. So I'll go up by 15. Right, if I can cut something through there to there and create a delicious bend on it. This is all starting to come together, this area. This is now really starting to come together. We then just want to... Add in. Additional little touches to the area. Are these still screaming for no power? Yeah. They are. <laughs> they are, guys. Right, just for now, right, because we don't fully have it all up and running, let's just give them that type of power. Is that connected further up? No, that's connected in no way, shape, or form. That's running off its own power. Right, they should all have power then at that point, so they can thrive and strive to build up their areas. There we go. Uh, we haven't seen the big bulk of the traffic making its way over here just yet. So it'll be interesting to see when that actually comes in. Because <laughs> it's going to be a lot. It is going to be a lot as well. But that peninsula is going to look really, really good when it's all up and running and done. It looks a little bit weird at the moment. So we'll keep it playing anyway because it, it, it is building us pretty much up anyway. I want to get like a hmm. It's not perfectly straight. I think that's as good as we're going to get that kind of straightness right there. Because I wanted this to kind of wiggle on through. Come on, boy. There we go. And if this came out... I kind of just merged into it. And then we're just, like, bringing these cut-through roads. There's two like that to kind of merge off the sideline. So you got a really cool little kind of river run road. And then we just have... Right, we'll take it from here first. Yeah, it's fairly nice. Because I want to create like a little walkway going around. Now we're pretty cool too. So I'm just kind of trying to touch up these little edges. This is an area I just kind of need to work with as well. So we'll bring upon... Well, it kind of throws you off a little bit, this whole area. So if we actually just come up from it like... And then create these windy roads. If I just come up like that. And then off it. So we're now going to start to frail out this area. And do the same here. Or should we... Try and forge a connection. <laughs> do you know what? I like that. I really do. And then we'll just like pull off... Every so often, a sprouting cul-de-sac. Like this. Again, try and add to the area. Now, I'll leave these two here for like some type of park. 
but it really sprawls it out. It, it's weird, it's cool. I, I love it. I love everything about that. So, this all needs water as well. Again, my, my most favourite thing to do in this game is build water pipes. I couldn't be any more sarcastic if I tried right there. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's just try our best to get them all in and be happy about the work that we're doing right now. Right. There we go. Done. Leave me alone. Right, they're actually now starting to move in too. So we can start seeing the big bulk of the traffic coming in. A lot of them are using this tunnel too, which is cool. We didn't see as many use it as before. Um, I wonder... Oh, Fultastic. It's had seven visitors all this long time. Damn you, Fultastic! <laughs> right, we're sorting this out, boys. We're sorting this out. Do you know what? The more I look at it, the more I probably don't like the outskirt. With the buildings on it. If you know what I mean? It'd probably be cooler just to kind of kill the buildings on the outskirt and then concrete and pave it and do a part path around or whatever. I feel like that'd be the better route, wouldn't it? That would be. But this is where then we, we kind of then drop down more residentially stuff. So we add in the residential on these areas. I'll slowly start to get this area up and running. Alright, we'll kind of close up this area. So these are really proper, like, neighborhoods, suburbs. And we just, like, add in the commercial here, there, and everywhere. So where should I drop commercial blocks? I feel like we should have a commercial block just here. Right, let's pause it for now. Commercial block around there. Got a commercial block just there. Um, where else would be beneficial for one? I think, yeah, this this is a perfect area for one as well. Just there. And then we're going to need one around here somewhere. So I feel like we just take these two blocks here. Nice chunk of commercial. And I'm going to de-zone all of this around the edges. So I'll keep those in. And I'll keep it in to there. And then de-zone everything around the edges here. Because I just feel like it's not warranted. It doesn't look right. And I want to create something a little bit different on the outskirts of this. So we'll de-zone it. And I'll try my other idea that I have. Just on the outskirts of where the uh, the seafront is. So we'll give it some time. We'll fast forward to give it some time to kind of uh, disappear. And skedaddle. And get out of here, boy. And we just let the other places all build up then. So our population is really starting to rise. The game couldn't be any more slower unless it was going in reverse right now. And then we got these nice little open wide spots. Which uh, we're filling with trees and stuff. But we'll just give it time for the buildings to like... Kind of can be placed in, expand a little bit. Again, it's not skyscrapers. Though we've banned high rises, remember that. Um, so it'd be interesting to see right now. So it's not like this monorail. We, we serve four passengers. We have to give it time for it to start working. There's people all over here, which I assume have just come off a tram stop. A couple of trams over here as well. Glorious, boys. Glorious. So they are slowly now just moving. So what I want to do... What I want to do is... We're going to bring up the paths now. And we'll go for the one with the, the decorations in. And we'll kind of take it from around the outskirts. So if I picked this route here. Oh, that's kind of... Hmm. Right, we'll go in a straight section like this. I think every so often we should do like a, a straight... Section. Like that. And then allow this to connect itself all up. Alright, there we go. 
So that goes around the edges like that, and then we kind of decorate it, and we put like nice little swirls in. And we you got the tree running down with it with the path line, and we kind of slightly concrete it over. I want to see what how that would look, but let's just take away from the actual process of what we're doing. So if I cut in to where then we have these connections, have we got snapping on? Yeah, like that, and then there's one here. And the next one is just here. Because I want to make this area very, very walkable. And add that something. I mean, I could place a part going around it, but I don't want to go that far with it. And then we got like the walls here, but that's kind of like stuff like we have to kind of I just want to try I wanna I wanna see what it looks like in this this kind of spot. So get rid of, get rid of those for now. And um yeah, let, let's kind of see it. So I think, you know what? It might be better to put a park around it. But at the same time, no. I don't feel like it would. I don't feel like it would. Nah, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. So we could drop little park stuff down and whatnot for this area. But I do like, you know, a couple of spots of car park. Little spots where you you know you park your vehicle, obviously that's what a car park does. But you, you kind of get the the gist of it, the idea of it. So you know you can go to like the seaside and you're on the seafront, and there's like there's little spots that you can park in, and whatnot. Let's see what it would like if I concreted it over. All right, bring that brush down, down a little bit more. So this this area is going to be my little test dummy. So let's do all this. I might as well just do this whole area to be my little test dummy. We'll fine tune it and get rid of the, the rough edges in just a moment. There we go. So we fine tune it like that then. It kind of gives a little bit extra to the outskirts of the area. And then we do drop down little like attractions. And stuff like that. How did that look? So you see, like we had a little attraction there, and it adds to the outskirt of it, which I think is pretty cool. So we have like I could place down props and stuff, but where's like um the skate parks and stuff like that? Where do they come into it? I always forget where they are. So we got like a Ferris wheel we can throw down, which would be nice. We have like the Plaza restaurant. Drop a couple of restaurants in right there. I always forget where the skate park is. Have I gone past it and not realized it? Well, I'm quickly glancing over. No, I always forget where it is, the skate park in the game. Is it easier just me to search it? Skate park. And how big is that? It's not that big. But it's like little stuff like that I could just squeeze in and it really brings this area to life a little bit. Which then they kind of disappear when you zoom out. Can you see the idea I'm getting with this? Makes it walkable, adds all the attractions on the outskirts. I like that idea. I really do. And I feel like I'm going to continue. Do you know what I'm going to? Because I, I do like it. So bring this up as much as possible. Before we then have to start bending it. So take it up to there. Where the bend happens here. There we go. And we do the same over here then. So it's just easy to do the straight bits. And then we add the bends in after. But obviously it will stop at some point. Because it's not going to go all the way around to the edges up to there. I feel like we'll stop it. I feel like what we should have is a road, say like this, that comes out, and if we made that a straight bit, and that a straight bit, I 
that bends up around, and that will be like the end part of our path. So back to the path. So adding all the straight bits first. All right, do it like that. This nice little chunky spot. I feel like this should just go then. Right, straight to there. And then in. And that's then done. Alright, in we go. Alright, so that all bends round. Just gotta figure out a way where this now ends. So you can end there and there. And also go straight down to kind of finalise it all off. But this is where we now have to connect them all up. So this is what makes it such a walkable area. Is every junction we are connected to. And that should be connected up a bit more. There we go. Now these are slightly uphill as well. So we just got to be careful how we add this all in. And then we'll just take a general path a little bit closer. And that is the outskirts of that setup. So we just got to paint it at this point. So painting it. Um... Yeah, we'll keep the same brush size. It's a little bit easier to deal with. All right, if you kind of just do the outskirts and then painting the inside, so much more easier. There we go, boys. Right. Squeeze it all in. <laughs> We're almost there. It's quite therapeutic, isn't it? Like, when you try and get it all in. So that's all in. I wish um, we could, like, do square. I mean, I know it, it kind of is a square that you're painting, but, like, I wish you could, like, drag a rectangle. I like how you do the zoning. Drag a rectangle. But I suppose I mean you get to the bends in the in the corner bits. It gets a little bit more difficult at that point, doesn't it? Right. Oh we go over. I've never actually done something like this in, in the city yet, have I? Like done I mean I've done a lot of it in the industrial area, but like I mean like for the residential area. Like, we've closed off the outskirts to make it very walkable. I mean that's what you would see in, in semi normal life wouldn't you but obviously there'll be a key around in the waterfront we end right at the path but i don't want it to end right at the path i want it because it's on that cliff that mountain edge you kind of walk around and overlook it which is really nice so okay then so let's get some parking down first because the parking's important because you need parking and you do see a lot of parking on the seafront i mean a lot of the cities that i've been to a lot of them are set up like this You're parking on the seafront. There we go. Do a couple more up here. Do them either side. That would be nice. Right, there we go. So that's the parking now, Wim. This adds that additional level of detail. And this is where now we ruin it all <laughs> by placing in stuff's like this so we could add like uh it's all like more tourist traction stuff isn't it a little bounce castle in and we'll do a bounce castle we'll do like one on each side bounce castle in that uh, the japanese gardens so i'm squeezing one there one just over here we've got then the dog park which we're squeezing just there <laughs> and then one 
over. Ha! Right, we did get a carousel in. So we'll get another one in further up. And then one, of course, over there. Where's the Ferris wheel at? So I could place all these in little fishing islands. But I'm not going to just yet. Um, where's the Ferris wheel? Ah, it's over. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> right, we do have like a large cinema, but I feel like that's way too big. That's way too big as well. Ferris wheel is the perfect size. Just to squeeze in. One there. We'll squeeze another one in over here. We'll yeah, yeah, we're we'll squeezing another one in there. Even though it's pretty much close to the other one. We have a little bit of dead space over here we get to play around with. So I feel like we'll get like... Uh, another dog parking. Some more Japanese gardens. Should we get like a small... No, these, these parks... I don't know. Yeah, these are way... I mean, you need some really small ones to squeeze in. Park maintenance building. I didn't realize that was that big. I never thought it was that big. Um, can I squeeze in some tennis? <laughs> there we go. I've squeezed in some tennis guys. So we can't get any of that stuff in anyway. Um, right. Let me search. Take skate off. Let's see what other buildings or stuff we could throw in. So uh, net structures. Ploppable. It's all the park and stuff. Ploppable parks. We have like the abandoned lighthouse. Which would be nice like... Just there. That's actually really cool, isn't it? Uh, farmhouse, not kind of good stuff. Uh, bison, this is all the zoo stuff, isn't it? What's that there? Boulder site. Okay. We have castle ruins. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to get like, a ruined castle in. Climbing frame. Alright, we get two of these in either side, just there. That's actually really nice. You could squeeze an elephant in if you wanted to. Ferris wheel. I've already got a ferris wheel in, haven't I? It's a different type of ferris wheel as well. Gazebos. I mean, are they for the park areas? I don't know how that would work, but... Hey-ho! This stuff needs to be uh, kind of dropped down a little bit. It's hilarious, isn't it, watching it drop down? But for the most part, yeah, that's kind of the, the gist of it, the idea of it. You can't really see that from a distance, but it's in. So it kind of adds to the, the outskirts of it. It doesn't just go building, 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 stop, but dead. And then we could do something like we can smoothen all this off, place some rocks around the edges just to uh, make it a little bit more detail. But you can kind of see the idea of what we're trying to go with in this little section. Now, for this, it's pretty much, you know, same old, same old. It's residential. To the highest form. There we go. But you just got to give it time to allow all the buildings to come in. I'm surprised the traffic is not crazy. But then again, I'm looking over here. And it is slowly starting to get a little bit crazier. <laughs> but that's going to happen for quite some time. We're not going to see the traffic die down until everyone's fully moved in again. And while everyone is trying to fully move in, there's me building more and more and more. So if I just take up this whole section right now, and I will get rid of the, the zoning that I don't want to be residential or anything like that. Um, right. Okay, so it's pretty much on this side where the zoning takes over slightly. Um, I don't want it to be on this just yet. We'll keep it on there. Keep it all on here as it is right now. We're just going to give it... Oh, actually, do you know what? I don't want it on this side. I want that road to be a glorious view of the river. That'll be nice. And yeah, it's pretty much how I want it to all go. So there's a lot that it's got to grow and build up to now become. 
there's a lot that it's going to grow now you know to become but we closed in 550,000 population which will easily smash and i think when all this whole area is fully upgraded and up and running it's going to be very close to 600,000 because the sheer amount of residential i'm now getting in it is kind of crazy it is kind of crazy but look at the traffic right now so traffic is pushing itself in, coming down the highway. I actually use, haven't seen this in a while, using this tunnel to come through as well, which is pretty cool. So where are they all coming from? I see some traffic over here. Obviously, it, it's purely down to the fact that I'm building this residential area up. We don't normally see it. But we've seen a lot coming through. We've not seen as much come through down this way. Seems to be coming from here. As if it's come from different parts of the city. But it's still pretty good, isn't it? It's still pretty good. So this will take quite a while. I, I reckon a couple of... i say about three or four hours of simulation time to get fully up and running. They are slowly starting to move in, as you can now see. It takes a lot of computing power. Falls Town at this level. <laughs> it is ridiculous. But it is really, really good. And once it's all in, we're Gucci, boys. We're going to be Gucci. So there is small little stuff I need to kind of finish up all the edges and whatnot. But for the base structure and to get the base value of it all in, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. So I feel like once this, we'll do a little bit more work and it's just kind of fine tune it a bit more. But once all this area is up and running, I want to then slowly look towards getting the racetrack and another university in. That will be my next goals in the city. But guys, it's going to take a while. But I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good bye.